What's up, what's up, America? We back. Another cooking video on our channel, CNS Bow Live. Yeah. Did you notice that the year was a little bit different? We have our kid, the one and only Travion Mosby, a.k.a. Wudamo Huncho, in the building, sitting in for Big Daddy. Say hi to the people. What's up, people? We Big Hunch in the building. Hey, 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 hey. Not trying to take over Pop Spot or nothing like that, but you know. Sometimes we got to do what we got to do when I'm ready to do my thorough thizzle, right? right. Yes, Let's get to it. So, Keto. Someone asked me about um, squash. They asked me about butternut squash, but today we're just gonna do some spaghetti squash because I know people like their noodles, and sometimes you can't get your noodles because this keep is is uh, high carb. So we have spaghetti squash. Now the cool thing about spaghetti squash is you can cook it, and when you do like this, you got spaghetti. How cool is that? Oh, I ain't even know that. You ain't even know that. See, you know something. So how you prepare this is you um, cut it in half, and I already did it ahead of time because it takes a little while. So you cut it in half, that's a pain in the ass, and be very careful and don't cut your hand off. And what I tend to do is get a glass bowl, put it face down, poke a couple holes in the top, put it in the microwave about 10 minutes, take it out, maybe poke another hole or two, put it back in the microwave for about five minutes, and then put it in a strainer in the sink, and just let the excess water come out. Now, some people put it in the oven and let it roast, and that takes like uh, 30 minutes or more. I ain't got that kind of time. So you could get this done in half the time to do it. So these are done. I'm gonna sit this to the side. So we're gonna do spaghetti squash two ways. We are going to do spaghetti sauce, using spaghetti sauce. So we're gonna have ground turkey, or you can use ground beef as well. Uh, we got some tomato paste, some diced tomatoes, a little sweetener if you like it sweet, and all of the seasonings, onions and green pepper. For the Alfredo, we're going to have shrimp, spaghetti squash Alfredo. We got shrimp, we got heavy whipping cream, Parmesan cheese, uh, cream cheese. If you want it Cajun, we got some Old Bay. If you want it Italian, we have some Italian seasoning. You ready to get started, Wuda? All these items. The food items, with the exception of this, came from Aldi, who is what? Not paying me. You're supposed to say that. <laughs> just fill it in. Just fill it in. Just fill it in. So we're going to take our turkey. We are going to put it into this here skillet. As it heats up, we're going to cut up some green peppers. So what do you have a skillet on for the people out there? You know, I'm glad you asked. Uh, about medium high. And I should have had it on. I usually do have it on. But I got so excited that you were willing to actually do this for me that I forgot to turn it on. And we was trying to figure out how to put the equipment together too. Then there's that. You'll cut up your green peppers. Just roughly chop them. You're going to cut up your onions. And although... Um, this diced tomatoes with with green chilies in it does have some green peppers in it. I like extra vegetables. I like my, vegetables too. In my food. I'm glad you do, Buddha, because you always got good stuff going on. So we'll roughly chop this, stick it all in here with the with the uh, turkey. You can also put turkey sausage in there with it or beef sausage or pork sausage in there. It adds an additional flavor. Right now we got a whole lot of ain't got. So we're going to whip this up real quick. Put that in there and add some about a tablespoon of seasoning salt. About a tablespoon of garlic. Same with the black pepper and some Italian seasoning. And I use Italian seasoning because it's got all the good stuff. I use about two tablespoons of that. Basil, garlic, um, oregano, thyme, all of those things. So we starting to sizzle, as you can hear. And we're going to chop this up a little bit. Get it all browned up. I wish I was here to smell it. It smelled like... It just came on, Moodle. <laughs> it's just them, them fresh peppers, them... Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything. So we're gonna let all this cook down for about 10 to 15 minutes until it browns and gets uh, caramelized. The onions and the peppers caramelized a little bit. We'll wait for that to brown. Okay, once your meat is brown, I like to keep the little juice in here because I'm not using a tomato sauce out of a can. And why put water in something when you can just use its natural juices? 
So we're gonna have this for here, from here, we're gonna add our diced tomatoes or rotel, however you wanna call it. And again, I'm keeping the juice because when I add this tomato paste, then it will form a sauce. And then I'll add whatever water I need. So we are almost done with this dish. Add about most so, of the can. We're gonna see. So what was that? This is tomato paste. I don't you've never probably ever even seen me cook with this before. <laughs> um, the reason why we're gonna use it in this particular case is because uh, canned tomato paste or jar uh, tomato sauce actually spaghetti sauce actually has quite a few carbs in it. You can use it if, if it's in within your macros to use it, um, but this has half the amount of carbs in it which is about 15 for the whole can. No, I'm sorry, 30 for the whole can, divide it up, more like eight or 10 carbs per serving, uh, which is, you know, whatever is within your macros. So you see we have this sauced. We add just a little bit more. The other thing about tomato paste, something you probably don't know, is this is a little bitter. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little bitter. We wanna cut that out, but with, Keto, of course, you can't have sugar, so, so we can use about, huh? what's that right there? monk fruit sweetener, which is zero calories. Um, it is quite a, a great non um, non aftertaste kind of thing, you know, with okay. sugar with the other sweeteners. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna put about two, to maybe three tablespoons in here, and it's more potent than sugar as well. If you don't have this, because this is not cheap. Uh, you can go to Aldi's and get their stevia in the green container. Works just as well. So, we are done. What I want to do now is see what this tasting like. See if it... Well, actually it's very good. I'm shocked I got it right on the first time. So now... Oh! Ah! See what we see what we doing here? Yeah, I see. Uh, I'm getting we're gonna the, take this. I'm getting the picture now. I'm getting the picture. We're gonna comb this, these noodles into our sauce. These, are these actually noodles? It's spaghetti squash. It just <laughs> shreds like that. This is an actual vegetable. Mm. Uh, it's squash. Uh, you know, you got your zucchini. You got your, you know, um, the real zucchini the butternut squash those are all types of squash uh, pumpkins <laughs> okay so here we are you see how easy this was see yeah. how quick this went and now we got spaghetti sometimes people put it back into their little shells and roast it and that's cool too one of your options too in doing this is to add some uh, cheese so if you want, you can take some of this freshly grated Parmesan, about a half cup, put it on there, and now you have baked spaghetti squash Parmesan. You can put it back in your shell and sprinkle that over there and bake it if you want to. So that's that. Let's plate it for you guys. What it smell like, Voodoo? You it smells good. It. <laughs> it smells great. It smells good. Add a little bit more fresh parm on there. If you want, if you want to be real cute and cute with it, you can add a little parsley on there. Boo, boo, boo. Great parsley. Great parsley. Tell me what you think. Okay. This, this, this when I come in. That's when you come in. <laughs> What say you? <laughs> now, people, <laughs> that's my first time ever tasting that. <laughs> is it? It really, really is. Oh, sit it over here. Uh huh. So, what you say? I think it's quite delightful. I'm glad you like it. All the flavors connect together very well. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Very well. Uh huh. Let's get a look at this. One more look, see. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, we moving on. So, so now, on next? we're gonna go ahead and work on our 
alfredo with this we have uh two tablespoons of oil of, of olive oil i don't know why i couldn't get that and some minced garlic wash off my little I love my little, my little wooden spoon. Y'all know how I feel about my wooden spoon. We'll let that marry in there. So what's, what's in what you put in Minced there? garlic. Minced garlic. Uh -huh. And two tablespoons of olive oil. This is about nine ounces of shrimp. And they were large shrimp, so I cut them in little pieces because, you know, these are getting squashed. Mm -hmm. So here is where you make a decision. Do you want an Italian Parmesan or do you want the Cajun Parmesan? If you want the K Italian Parmesan, you put some garlic, a little salt and pepper. I don't really care for salt and pepper, put a little garlic in it. And Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. I'm a Cajun girl, so I am going to add about a tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning. Cook it down in there, because I like my stuff a little spicy and cajun -y. So we're gonna cook that up for a couple minutes. Let this get all nice and and good and then we're gonna take the scrapings of this and what's left in the bottom of it we're gonna put some butter forgot butter butter goes in this people butter makes it <laughs> butter makes everything better i'll add that in any butter is fine don't matter if you yes any butter is fine uh, I'm a fan of salted butter because of a flavor thing because I don't really cook with a lot of salt. Um, the preference if you're keto is, is pure Irish butter. Simply because it doesn't have a lot of additives. It's just the milk and grass-fed cows and cream. Uh, but you can use regular butter. Never use margarine. Never use I can't believe it's not butter. Never use anything with canola oil in it because it ain't butter. At the end of the day, you want the fat from the actual cow's milk. You want the butter fat. So, we are going to finish cooking this. The shrimp will only take a couple minutes. You want to get them okay. Smell good, do <laughs> Yeah, so they're about okay because they're going to cook the rest of the way in the, uh, in the pasta. So, we'll take our shrimp. Put them in the bowl, set them to the side. All this delightfulness, get in there, Wooda. That delightfulness right there is gonna make our whole life. The garlic that's in there, mm. the uh, shrimp flavor that's in there is going to now be the base for our Parmesan sauce. So, we'll put another about Two tablespoons of butter in here. You see how it's doing all that? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add, in this case, probably a half a block of cream cheese. Uh, and all this depends on how big your spaghetti squash is. For some reason, these are very small. I usually get them a lot bigger, but I don't know what's going on at Aldi's right now. I guess, you know, supply and demand, and sometimes, and they're not really in season. So I'm going to take a half a block of cream cheese, about four ounces. Let that start cooking down in there like so. And it's always best to kind of do this to it because otherwise you'd be waiting for the stuff to melt down. So what does the cream cheese do? It's, it's your thickening. Oh. Because a lot of times with like sauces, you use, you use flour. And okay. because you're keto, you can't really have flour. So we're going to put like a cup, cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. It's full fat cream. Milk has tons of sugar in it. And you, you probably don't know that. Tons of sugar in it. So this heavy whipping cream has zero sugar in I, it. I didn't know that, actually. I know you did. <laughs> it's got a lot of sugar in there. And this has no sugar and high fat, which is what we need when we're keto, right? Okay. And so... This is going to be the base for our sauce. At this point, we want to season it too. So we're going to put a little more garlic in it. And if you have, if you're doing Italian, that's great. I'm not doing Italian. Put some salt, season the salt and pepper. I don't really want any salt because I'm using Old Bay, which is salty in and of itself. So I'm putting another like tablespoon of that in there. This is melting down very nicely. 
So once you get this cream cheese melted down, mm -hmm. um, then you're ready to add your Parmesan cheese. So what temperature is it on? Make sure you turn this down. Thank you for asking because I forgot to tell y'all that. Make sure once you start pouring your milk and, and all of that, make sure you put it on medium because you don't want this to scorch because now we're in the cream stage. So I'm going to put in probably a cup, mm. I would say, of Parmesan. Now we have our Alfredo sauce. We ready to go. And as that is melting, what are we going to do? Same thing we did the first time. We're going to put our squash in. Squash don't, take like, don't taste like squash. It doesn't taste like anything, quite frankly. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the stove because... It's where I want it to be, and it'll finish cooking uh, this way. You know, it doesn't taste like anything. Like like zucchini or anything else, it, it'll take on the flavor of whatever you're putting with it. Um, or it'll at least tone the flavor of the squash down, which I don't really think it tastes like anything. So for the people who don't know what squash tastes like, and you always was wondering, I'm here to tell you, don't don't be scared by, <laughs> by the name. Uh, like she said, it don't taste like anything. So, mm -hmm. what did it? Did the spaghetti taste like the spaghetti that it, I make? It do. Like it, it fit well. Like it's supposed to be the noodles for the spaghetti. That's, that's how. It, that's how it tastes to me. At least. Now, now we're adding back our shrimp. We are now mixing up our sauce and our shrimp into into the mixture. We're folding it in. Getting it all nice and covered. This is so cheesy and, mm. <laughs> and creamy and rich. And the thing with keto is that we, people always think that they're going to be hungry. And what this good fat does is it keeps you satisfied much longer than any other dish would. And so when you're eating something like this, it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot. And it is very uh, filling. So I'm going to grab a spoon. We're gonna plate this as well. And then what are you gonna tell me what you think of this okay. shrimp spaghetti squash alfredo? Throw a little bit more Cajun seasoning on top because I like my stuff Cajun. That look good though. Nice plate. Does it look good? I like it. I like it. I appreciate you. Tell me what you think, Buddha. Alright, we're going in again. Got your piece of shrimp. Okay. That's why I made the shrimp bite size so you don't have to like, you know, hit this big old piece of shrimp. That is really good. Is that really good? Yeah, it tastes better than Alfredo. Like really? The actual the noodles. Really? It's just something because I'm not really a big Alfredo guy. Is that right? No, you're not a big Alfredo guy. I forgot. I totally forgot. I would eat it because everything she makes tastes great. <laughs> so I would eat it whenever she makes it, but not my favorite but i would choose this <laughs> what's what, what you call it again ma it is shrimp uh spaghetti squash alfredo i would choose that over any alfredo really okay okay so there we have it we have two dishes made with spaghetti squash uh 100 keto um very good for you and very filling as well so make sure that if it's within your macros that's what your serving size will be. And you can move on and, and really enjoy eating healthy as well as having good flavor. Wooda, I appreciate you. I really do. You hooked me up. I appreciate that. So we're going to say bye to the people. Like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Comment below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you want us to do next. I have a really great uh, set of videos coming out with some special guests. And I really, really, really appreciate you if you check us out. Say bye to the people, Wooda. All right, people. To all the CNS for Life crew. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we appreciate y'all. We really I appreciate do. it. Thank you. Let's, for. Let's do what she said. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> ring that bell. <laughs> Thank you for watching CNS for Life. Yeah. Ha ha ha